Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to discuss images for your website. Now this video is aimed at beginners so if you're just starting out with your own website and you don't really know how to source images or anything like that this video is for you. If you've been doing it for a while it might not be too helpful but it's going to be short so it might be worth a watch. So the first thing I would say about images is the best thing you can do is take take pictures yourself and use those images. And the reason for that is it makes your website more personable um, and it just it helps to theme your website because if you've taken all the images yourself, it's all going to sort of look quite similar. However, you might not have a camera or you might not be confident in your ability to take pictures. So I'll quickly go through my father-in-law's uh, website here. Um, so I did all the images for this website. So we'll start with that. So this is why I like having your own images. Now, it's a personal opinion. People might not agree that it's the best uh, website, but he's a private tutor. And by using my own images, uh, I feel like it, it, it sort of helps people to know him a bit better before they send their children to him. So that's why I've used my own images there. Um, so like I say, it's quite useful for that sort of thing. Like I say, took all of these and you can see the theme is the same across the, all of the pages rather than just using stock images. However, not always possible. So if you're going to use stock images, you're going to want to use free images. Now, obviously, there's uh, the problem with free images of licensing. So I'm just going to suggest three websites here um, that I think are really useful if you're just starting out. So first up is Adobe Stock, and I'll put all of the links to these in the description. Now, with all of these websites, the images are going to be free to use. Um, sometimes you have to give uh, credit to the author. But basically, if you I'll just show you what to do. Check the license terms for all of these just to make sure. But basically, you can use them for commercial purposes, too. So even if you're making money off your website, you can still use these. Now, as you can see, these are some really high quality images and you don't have to pay for them. Perfect. So this is a really good one to start out with. Another really good website is unsplash.com. Similar sort of, uh, sort, of, sort of concept, all free images. And you can check the license there for these just to make sure you're not uh, breaching anything. But I am only recommending free ones here that aren't generally where you don't have to worry too much about uh, attributing the author. And so if also the last one I'm going to show you is Pixabay, similar story. Again, always check the license because I'm talking about the time of recording might have changed when you're watching this video. So these are really good stock images. Um, and like I say, you might find that sometimes with stock images, they look like stock images, if that makes sense. And it can look a little bit impersonal on a website, sort of like a placeholder image that you'd find on a default template, for example. So. Like I say, it's something to consider, but like I say, if you're going to use free images, there's some really high quality ones here. Something else to consider is one of the pay for, webs pay for uh, websites. Shutterstock is probably the biggest one of these. You have to pay for these images. So generally speaking, uh, for example, you get 10 free images with a risk free trial on this one. So you sign up, get 10 free images. If you don't like it, you don't have to continue. But there are some um, usually things like Shutterstock have got different sort of assets as well. So there's music, for example, here, um, if you need that for your website. So it's worth looking into. Um, this isn't supposed to be uh, an exhaustive list. You can Google it and just search for free assets, but always be careful of that license term. OK, so um, like I showed you on the other three websites there. Another thing uh, worth noting is with so a lot of these, you've got sort of vectors as well. It won't really necessarily mean much to you. Um, I'm not sure if it's there on that one, but if we go on to Pixabay, um, there's like you've got images of car like an animations, not necessarily pictures. Um, but yeah, these have got free images, video and music you can use. So have a look around and that's some useful things you can use when you're just starting out. And like I say, I will link these. One last thing I'll leave you with is if you are taking your own image, something I find that's quite easy to do is sometimes you can just use a border or something um, just to kind of make the picture pop out a little bit. But again, it's design choices. You don't have to do that. But um, I found with these, if I didn't have a border or anything around these, they looked a little bit strange just placed on the page. And that's really all there is to it if you're just starting out. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.